Time and time again, I dreamt of building a paper 3x3 that is comparable to speed cubes and can be solved in under 30 seconds. Today, we'll see how magnets are able to take me one step closer to achieving that goal. Last year, I already made a video on how to build this puzzle. The design didn't really change since then, because a lot of the edges are already rounded off and I don't think you can go that much further with the design. But this puzzle is still a huge improvement and that's for the simple fact that I used magnets in this puzzle. The magnets obviously have to be really weak, so I chose ones that can only hold 74 grams. That sounds like basically nothing, but it's plenty if your puzzle only weighs 15 grams without them. I'm speeding over the building process here. If you want to see this in more detail, check out my two videos about how to build this exact puzzle, just without the magnet. There's a link to that in the description. Also, while you're down there, you might as well subscribe, it would really mean a lot to me. Here you can see all of the pieces, which I already folded and glued the magnets onto. Now the magnets have to dry and then I can close the pieces. I did this mostly off camera, because it's really not the topic of this video, so I didn't really want to bore you with that. Here we go, once that is all done, this is the finished puzzle. It looks identical to my last paper 3x3, but I don't have any of them with me for comparison, because those two are now in the Ukraine and in the US. But this one has a lot more to offer than the last two. A quick look at the individual pieces shows that there's nothing new here. It's the same design with rounded off edges on the inside of the pieces. Also, after building it, I rounded off all sharp edges and smoothed out any uneven bits I could find, so the puzzle will lock up as little as possible. Let's do a few first turns now. This turns really smooth and I can sometimes even do finger tricks on this puzzle. If those could be done more reliably, I think this puzzle would be really amazing. For now, I still have to do pretty much all of the turns with my whole hand, but it's still a huge step from my last puzzle. The stability is really improved by the magnets. Now, that's nice and all, but how does the puzzle really perform when solved? In total, I did around 100 solves on the puzzle. My first solve was around 1 minute, but after getting used to the puzzle for a bit, I got my overall average down to about 50 seconds. So let's take a look at a few solves now. I'm showing a pretty average solve right now. As you can see, I still have to use my whole hand to turn the puzzle but the turns don't really lock up that much, which really helps a lot with the turning speed. I think the solve is pretty clean, apart from the fact that the puzzle is not finger trickable. This is mostly a problem when doing OLL and PLL, because that's where the TPS of a usual solve gets much higher than in the parts before. Because I can't really increase my turning speed on this puzzle, the last layer usually takes over half of the overall time of the solve. But here we go, now the puzzle is solved. This was a pretty average solve, but now let's watch the best solve I was able to get on camera. I'm pretty proud of it, so here we go, this is the world's fastest solve of a paper Rubik's Cube. I know, 37 seconds isn't too impressive, but this is only half the time it took me to solve my last 3x3. 
And if I find a way to make finger tricks possible on this puzzle, this would make it able to be solved in under 20 seconds, I think. We'll have to see what I come up with to make that a reality. But that's for another video. If any of you want to build this puzzle, just follow the tutorial linked in the description and glue in the magnets before gluing any of the pieces together. You want to use magnets that can hold a little less than 100 grams. That's probably the weakest neodymium magnets you can find. After the magnets are glued into place, the rest of the building process is identical to the tutorial. 